So here's some quite interesting news I read uh, this morning. It is about uh, Gary F. Um, he was actually on a lone warrior mission to kill Osama bin Laden. He uh, armed himself with a samurai sword and a gun and a night vision, went down to Pakistan and tried to cross the border to, in order to uh, find Osama bin Laden and kill him. And um, he was kept by the Pakistani police and they found with him uh, these weapons and a Bible for sure. He was uh, on God's mission. It was a mission for him to fulfill God's will and this is for sure to kill Osama bin Laden because he's uh, the evil, you see. And this Gary F. is living the American dream in this case. He is uh, the, the American hero, uh, the superhero. He wanted to be uh, the, the hero that kills the evil that threats all Americans and in this case Gary F ob obviously as a lone warrior chosen by God to fight for his words and these words are revenge violence death and glory these are the words of God and unfortunately he was caught by the Pakistani police and he has three times been in Pakistan trying to cross the border to Afghanistan armed with a samurai sword a gun and a night vision he was hunting for the guy called Osama bin Laden. Was it revenge? Is it greed? Is it madness? Whatever it is, it is the outcome of highly manipulated, distorted mind. And whatever the reason may be, it will always be justified by God. Because when you believe in that bullshit, you will always be chosen. You will always be the chosen one. That's the principle behind it, behind revenge, and that is the honey that traps you. Revenge is always something you do for God, for some higher principle. May it be one etheric being or yourself, for example, or your soul. You want to heal your soul by killing the guilty one because you think some evil force has treated you unfairly in order to challenge you. And now you have the chance to show how good you are and how strong the light forces are working through you. If it's greed, is it for the money? It is also in the name of God. Money is the God for sure in this case and this will bring you into a higher position. You will ascend to the higher realms of this world and you will be acknowledged as a hero. And that is very much more real by the way because it will have some of the expected effects actually in the matrix. And as long as people are as deluded as you are, these predictions will actually work. And however, they are not real and therefore they won't last and everywhere this fairy tale and these fairy tales are imposed in our, on, on our minds and our brains and every single Hollywood movie, every motion picture or other literature presents these values. But what happens to the hero after the deed is done and that is the question one should ask himself. Never think about that, the movies are telling us and these values are telling us. Never think about that. Never think about the after. It is dark and it is dirty and smelly. Look at the light and your goal. Look at your achievements. Not at the consequences and not at the complete outcome. That's what people are doing and they wonder why they are stuck in shit. That is what whole countries are doing, for example, when they attack others. And even they think they were chosen ones or are greedy or they want to take revenge and in the whole as in the details everybody is equally fucked in this world. Don't look or point at people like him, like Gary and dare to judge them. Look what is the principle and see that we all are doing this or at least we all are supporting this stupid stuff every day in one or another way and I say thank you Gary for exposing, exposing these structures. Thank you very much Gary.